What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a little testing with the ATAX AUX pattern. Um, this is the Arid Urban Extreme pattern. This is the one that replaced the previous uh, and original AU. Um, as the name would imply, it's primarily intended to be more of a arid urban type pattern. However, as you guys know, if you've watched for any length of time, I love taking patterns outside of their environment just to see what they'll do. Oftentimes, um, we're pleasantly surprised with the results and the way things turn out. So, just because a pattern is given a particular name or maybe intended and designed for a specific environment doesn't mean that it's ineffective in other environments. That seems to be a very common misconception that, that a lot of people have. So again, as you can tell from the AUX, it's primarily more tans and browns. I'll get a little closer here and the camera is probably washing out because of the overcastness, but um, it's primarily more tans and browns, not as much green, although there is some green in there. Um, I'm gonna get back here in the swamp today. Again, as you can see, it is plenty green and lush and dark and because of all the overcast skies it's even darker in there than what it otherwise normally would be so I don't know how that's going to affect it or won't we'll see now I'll go ahead and preface this regardless of how it works here I'm going to be going to my other location hopefully in the next month or two and I'm probably going to take all three of the uh, X patterns that I've got the FGX, IX and this AUX and retest it at a different location that's really more of a uh, pine forest, uh, scrub oak type area that's definitely doesn't have the same kind of overhead canopy that this does. So again, hopefully in the next couple of months, we'll see, summertime's always really busy for me. Um, it's of course 8,000 degrees out here right now and the humidity is through the roof. So just standing here talking to you, I'm already sweating. However, it's not all that bad due to the really awesome material that TrueSpec used on the BDU Extreme, which is what this is, that the, uh, the new ATAX X patterns are in. So enough rambling about all that. Um, we'll uh, get in here, set up a few shots, let you guys kind of see what this looks like again. This is my, my swampy area, so don't know how to work. I got an idea how to work, but we'll wait and see that for the end. So sit tight and let's get going. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this large fellow right here and his partner are none too happy. I am disrupting their hunting area right now. Sorry guys.
Okay, guys. I'm going to wrap it up right there for this one. Um, a couple of notes real quick. Just some observations that I made. I was checking a little bit of the footage on the actual camera screen there. And uh, <clears throat> something that I've noticed before, and I noticed it happening now too, with all of the bright green ferns in here and really, really bright green leaves, a little bit of light that's coming through. <clears throat> Since I'm not using a real high dollar camera, it's really augmenting all of that bright, bright greenness, almost like it's producing its own light source. And the colors tend to want to change in the camera to compensate for that instead of showing you the actual more realistic view of what you'd be seeing with your eyes. <clears throat> now, it also changes the way this looks in addition to it. So it somewhat balances out, but just I want to throw that out as a caveat to keep in mind. You're going to be somewhat limited when I do this kind of stuff by the camera and what it's capable of, not capable of, as far as adjusting to the, to the uh, <clears throat> environment itself, right? So, that said, also remember, this is a quote-unquote arid urban pattern. They know when I'm recording something. They always have to fly over right when I'm recording something. And it's when I'm talking. It can't be when I'm doing something not talking. It's a conspiracy. I, 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 God is my witness. It's a conspiracy. <clears throat> As I was saying before I so rudely interrupted, this is an arid urban pattern. Now, as I said in the opening part, just because a pattern is labeled an arid or urban pattern does not mean that that excuse me, does not mean that it is not effective in other areas outside of an arid urban setting vice versa it doesn't mean that a woodland pattern isn't effective in an arid area okay we have to be very careful about that because a lot of times i see folks get really wrapped around the title and name of something and then they <clears throat> Excuse me. They kind of preform their own mental opinions on something without just leaving their mind open and just going off of what they're seeing and, and not what their brain's trying to tell them because of what they heard. Oh, this is an arid pattern. It's not going to work there because that's not an arid area. This is a woodland pattern. It's not going to work there because it's not a woodland area. Try, try to forget all of that. Earth tone colors are everywhere. Browns, greens, tans everywhere urban areas desert areas woodland areas jungle areas those colors are everywhere just because you may not consciously see those colors doesn't necessarily mean they're not there maybe it means they're there and you're just having a hard time seeing them something to think about on that note so anyway enough rambling again atax aux in the swamp a little bit dry in the swamp right now although you wouldn't tell it by how soaking wet I am because while the ground's dry the humidity in the air is dripping wet so I'm gonna call it quits on that note I as I said I'm gonna still do all three X patterns that I've got again in a different area maybe later this summer um, it'll just be time dependent so y'all keep your eyes out for that um, hope you liked it hope you learned something Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. I'm going to go put it all together on the computer and see, and uh, we'll take a look there. So, as always, guys, take care, stay safe, and uh, stay hidden, too. See you later.